Hey guys, this is Mr. A. Crazy here, and today I'm going to be doing a TV show review uh, on this on one of my childhood shows of all time, and that is Thomas and Friends. <clears throat> Excuse me now. Now the plot. Now the plot of the show is basically where it takes place on, on this island called this land called the Island of Sodor, where 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 it has trains, of course, with faces on them. And of course, you got Thomas, of course, and who's like a blue, a blue train, of course. Thomas, of course, and, and and pretty much throughout throughout each episode, you got every almost every Thomas and Friends character, like like so, like like solving solving situations and all that stuff. And yeah, so that's so that's pretty much a brief explanation of of the plot. So, yeah. So now, Thomas and Friends. I, I actually definitely remember Thomas and Friends when I was very little. I, I watched it when I was little, of course, and it, it, and it's one of my childhood shows of all time. Yeah, sure. There's there's like a lot of Thomas and Friends characters, like you name it: Thomas, Percy, James, Toby. Um, yeah, you name it. There's a, there's a lot of them. And of, and of course, and of course, Thomas and Friends has been has been, has been changed like like a, like a, for for a few years. Like, and I know the narrators of the show are are, are really good. Like like. Ringo Starr, who is known for, known for the Beatles, like Ringo Starr does, does good as as the narrator, like like Ringo Starr, George Carlin, Alec Baldwin, Michael Brandon, Michael Angelis in, in the United Kingdom. Oh yeah, and also there's this one called called The Great Discovery. It, that 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 special is narrated by Pierce Brosnan, who's known as, known as for as one of the James Bond actors. But yeah, and also the Great Discovery was also the final time that Thomas and Friends used like the the use of of model railway sets, like model replica of model railway sets, and yeah, and they also had the narrator voice the characters, right right before right before when C when season twelve came out, only the only the train's faces and the human characters were computer generated, and the and the and the eyes blink and the mouth and and the and, and the mouths move, but the narrator still had to voice the characters. And starting starting with Hero of the Rails and season thirteen. The whole entire Thomas and Friends computer, the whole entire Thomas and Friends series is completely computer animated, and they had and they had and they had voice actors play the trains and and some of the humans as well. Yeah. But yes, I and I definitely remember Hero of the Rails and Day of the Diesels. And 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 I will say I think I think the old fashioned Thomas and Friends with the replica model sets like I I think the classic Thomas the Tank Engine is definitely is it's de it's definitely better than than the than the CGI computer animated series. I mean it doesn't it doesn't top the, the, the it doesn't top the classic series but 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 I think I think I, just, I think I think I, I think I only just kind of like the computer animated series like when it first started like when when Hero of the Rails came out. But yeah, and also, and also, way back in two thousand, which was nearly twenty years ago, like there was a Thomas the Tank Engine movie called Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Yeah, and and that's definitely one of my childhood movies, with Peter Fonda and Mara Wilson and Alec Baldwin. Yeah. But yeah, so there, there there's like a lot to say about Thomas the Tank Engine. Like like, like there there's so much to say about it, like like about memories there. And I, and I also and also I do remember this Marvel Cinematic Universe movie called Ant Man, the first Ant Man movie. That, that yeah, there there was a Thomas the Tank Engine that was featured in that movie, and I, I remember that part from from Ant Man. But yeah, so so Thomas the Tank Engine was one of my childhood shows of all time, besides like Blue's Clues, Teletubbies, Reading Rainbow, Sesame Street, etc. And there's like a lot of episodes to name. Like there's um, Rusty and the Boulder, and um, Thomas comes to breakfast. Oh yeah, and and also one of one of the directors of the CGI Thomas the Tank Engine series is Greg Tiernan. Like Greg Tiernan, who's also known for directing Sausage Party and The Adams Family, and of course he he also worked with Don Bluth in the in the first three of his movies. Uh, well, I mean the next three of his movies, like like An American Tale, Land Before Time, and All Dogs Go to Heaven. But yes, and, and also I've I, when I was very when I was little, I used to own lots of Thomas and Friends merchandise. Like I used to have books and toy trains and and wooden wooden railway sets. But yeah, so but yeah, so we're we're gonna finish finish this TV show review up and see what I like what I like my and wrap up my thoughts on Thomas the Tank Engine. So 
So overall, Thomas and Friends is one of my childhood shows of all time, and I'm gonna give the classic series five out of five stars. As for the computer generate, as for the computer generated imagery series, I'm gonna give that uh, three and a half out of five stars. I think that's my best rating. Yeah, it's okay. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching my TV show review on Thomas the Tank Engine or Thomas and Friends, whatever. And as always, thanks for watching. And if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. And make sure to like this video. So with that being said, this is Mr. A. Crazy saying goodbye, everybody, and that's about it.